didn't remember at all, but I assume it's this one. But I don't know. Yeah. Okay. No, it's actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was afraid. You just gotta get the profile. I haven't noticed either of them. <laughs> I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with Margaret Perry, whose play Collapsible is currently playing at the Bush Theatre and will be running until the 21st of March because um, it's been extended due to popular demand. Uh, how are you doing, Margaret? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you, Ella? I'm very well. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Why do you think Collapsible is relevant in this current political moment? I think it is a play that is, is trying to be about how we live now in terms of the kind of inundation of information, in terms of the way the capitalism operates and the way that it forces us to define our identity by through our work. Um, and what happens when you don't have a job uh, to kind of pin yourself to and how that feels. Um, so I think in that and in that way, it's quite relevant. I remember reading a, a piece about um, students in South Korea who were trying to, there's really high unemployment at this particular moment and this journalist was asking them how they felt and this one guy was like, getting a job is a war I feel in my bones. And I just thought that was really like, wow. unbelievably like, kind of poignant and sort of speaks to the way in which we've construed work in like, in kind of late, the late capitalist moment that we find ourselves in. Um, I also think, yeah, in terms of like Essie's identity, I think like it's great to be able to tell like a queer female story, also like a bisexual female story. I feel like that's not a story that I have seen much and that if I had seen it maybe when I was younger would have helped me a bit more like in terms of discovering like, my own identity and that kind of thing. Yeah, so it feels absolutely. it's nice to like put that out there and have that exist so that if people find it and they can maybe see themselves as well. Um, so that was also really important. So I think it's sort of those two things yeah. that make it feel like it is kind of latching on to the moment yeah. in some way, mm -hmm. you know? It's currently LGBTQ History Month. Yeah. Um, so it feels incredibly important to have both your play, Collapsible, and the High Table, Penny's yeah. play, on at the Bush at the same time. Um, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I feel really like, oh, I feel really moved and, and kind of emotional actually about it. Like, I feel like I could, could like cry talking about it, like in terms of just having, feeling like this play this play being in some ways a sort of foreshadowing of my own coming out and kind of writing this play before I sort of knew that it was about myself, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so to then have it on and especially combined with The High Table, which is such an amazing like black queer mm. story, um, it at the bush in this month kind of which is a month that maybe wouldn't have been significant to me four years ago and now feels like it you know is really a lovely mm -hmm. a lovely thing. I don't want to give away too much about the play for people who haven't yet seen it. Mm -hmm. um, but you do to play around with some quite interesting stuff formally and obviously it's a monologue play and um, I'm just wondering if you could expand a bit about the your the reasoning behind certain stylistic decisions or like formal decisions that you've made? Yeah totally like I wanted to write a play that was about isolation and the kind of solipsism of depression and sort of the way it, 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 it kind of stops you being able to see outside yourself or really kind of reach other people. And so the monologue felt the perfect form for that. I also wanted to look at internal experience. Um, Cause I had a writing teacher once who said that um, if you wanted to write, if you wanted, if internal conflict was your favorite kind as opposed to external or social or any of the other types um, of conflict, you were better off writing a novel. And I thought, no, actually, I really want to try and write a play that is mainly internal conflict and have that be dramatic and exciting. Um, I was also interested, I suppose, in like, the life of the mind and also of the body like a lot of that kind of uh, stream of consciousness writing is so feels so removed from physicality especially yeah. in the nov in the novel where you're reading you know you're kind of there's no sense of the body of the person whereas i feel like watching the show i wanted like placing those that internal kind of language in a physical person who is saying them to you and is stand, sitting right in front of you, I feel I think it's quite exciting. Um, and finally, please, can you let everyone know um, how they can catch this amazing play, um, where it's on, when it's on, how long for? Yeah, so it's running at the bush from now, um, and we've just found out it's being extended until the 21st of March due to popular demand, which is great. So please let people uh, want to see it. So yeah, and it's on in set at 7.45 in the studio, basically every night, so, nice. except Sunday, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I encourage everyone to get down and see it. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Ella. <laughs>